Welcome back, everyone. So we are picking up where we left off last, last time, of course. Uh, the last video was a rather long one. Um, today's going to be much shorter. We'll, just do, we'll do sort of 30 minutes. Um, we got right to the end of model loading. Um, so we're going to continue there. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll probably stop the video there. So we'll hopefully get the model loading completed. Uh, and we were going to, um, I think we weren't loading the right textures out of the model or something along those lines. We'll, we'll get all that going. And then after that, we'll be done with beginner. So um, for those of, those of you that don't know, this is the tutorial we're following along, learn WGPU. We're in the beginner section. We're right at the end of it now, which is pretty cool. Uh, and <clears throat> the idea is that we'll get down to, um, I think we've rendered the mesh, I believe. Um, and then we'll get right down, hopefully, to using correct textures and rendering the whole model. Uh, a lot of copy paste sort of going on here, so I'm not terribly happy about that, but I'd like to work through that and um, understand it better. And then we'll be done there with that. Next is lights and normal mapping and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, but at that point, hopefully, we'll know a bit about WebGPU. So um, without further ado, let's kick in. I'll set the timer for 30 minutes and we'll see how far we get. Now, if I go back to where we were last time and just run our application. Um, we do draw the model, um, which is cubes. I've got a funny texture on it, um, and I can use the T key to change the textures now. And then I can use the slash key to show the depth buffer, um, which was that depth texture that we spent hours trying to get going. Um, so I can toggle that now. Um, uh, which is all great. Uh, so that gets us down into, like I said, the end of this, I think, is where we're at. Rendering a mesh. Um, pretty sure that was right. So let's go and have a look at model. Um, make sure we've got the latest version of our code, yep. So in model, let's just make sure we've got draw mesh instanced, for example. Yep. <clears throat> oh, let's draw model instanced. Draw model. Ah. So we haven't got that. Um, sorry, I'm getting myself confused here. Okay, so we're up to using correct textures. So if you look at the texture files, let me turn down this music a bit. Um, if you look at the texture files for our object, you'll see that they don't match up to our object. The texture we want to see is this one. Yes, that's in here somewhere. Cube diffuse. Okay, and then a normal map, which we won't use yet. Um, so we want lib and model and maybe resources. I don't know. We'll find out. <clears throat> okay. We, we haven't created a bind group to give to the render pass. Diffuse bind group. If we want to change that, we need to use the bind group from our materials, the bind group member of the material struct. Okay. We're going to add a parameter, a material parameter to draw a model. Hmm. This is our trait draw model. It has draw mesh and draw mesh instanced. It looks like we need a camera bind group too. So we've got mesh, let's add a material. So that's a, that's a reference to a material struct with the lifetime of the trait. Might as well add in the camera bind group here too while we're at it. So camera bind group. Not sure if I, that's something I missed earlier or not. Okay. Um, 
we have draw mesh instanced and we need to pass in some extra stuff here, don't we? So we need, uh, need a material and a camera bind group. Uh, which is a reference to <clears throat> a reference to WGPU bind group. And then we can pass the material um, and the camera bind group here. Uh, not as a reference though, but um, Oh. Material and then camera bind group as well. Then draw mesh instance needs to be updated to. So we'll need a material here. And a camera bind group. Not sure how I feel about this formatting. I guess, yeah, I'll leave it like that. Um, <clears throat> great, and then we set the vertex buffer. We set the index buffer, um, and then we need to set two bind groups. Uh, for zero, um, it has to be the material bind group. <clears throat> and then an empty slice. And then we do the same thing for the camera bind group, but not as a reference. Because we're passing a reference. Okay. All right. Then we change the render code apparently. Oh, now we're failing. So what are we, what are we failing on here? <clears throat> semicolons. <laughs> of course we're failing on semicolons. All right, so that's fine. And then inside of our render method, um, is it render? Yeah, render, we need to update the render code. So this is where we set the vertex buffer um, and we set a pipeline up here. And then we do, we get, why do we do the mesh? We do let mesh equal object meshes. So we've got those. Um, all right, let's just pull this out. So let mesh equal self obj model meshes. Um, let material obj model materials mesh material. And then in here um, we do mesh and then material and then we have self instances length and then we do um, camera bind group. <laughs> so materials is a vec. <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to have to learn a bit more about this. The uh, obj, t obj, tobj. Anyway, 
anyway, let's see. Let's see how much we can break by doing it that way. Um, should break lots of things. Validation error, great. Um, bind group at index zero in the current render pipeline should be compatible with an explicit bind group layout with texture bind group layout. Assigned explicit bind group layout with label. Camera bind group layout. Hmm. <clears throat> what am I doing? Is it draw mesh instance? Yes. Mesh material. Ah, we don't need this anymore, do we? Set pass, set vertex buffer. Um, isn't that already set? Vertex buffer one. Camera bind group is one. Not paying attention to detail. Should be better. Let's see. It looks like they're, those things are quite hard to debug. The text buffer one must be set. Really? Self instance buffer. So it's complaining about this. Vertex buffer one must be set. Like if we go back and look at what that is, that will be let's open our shader. Wigzel, where is our wiggle wigzel stuff? Here it is. <clears throat> Is this right? I think it's right. Oh, that's the camera uniform. Vertex input model and instance. <clears throat> Guess let's try. Try that. I need all the instances. I thought this thing did instancing. Obviously not. Okay. Now we have, what happens if we try and change the texture? It doesn't work anymore. Great. We still get the depth field. Hmm. Interesting. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? The draw order looks right. Um. Hmm. Okay, so that looks good. I still need to go through and understand that a bit more, but at least that's working. Um, we'll just do a, we'll do a small commit. No, stuff it. Oh yeah, we'll do it. So git status um, lib. Uh, 
and then source model. Added, uh, okay, can now load the correct, load and use the correct texture from a model. Okay. Then what we want to do is render the entire model. Rent, right now we're specif specifying the mesh and the material directly um, in here. Mesh and material directly. Um, it feels like we're still not using instances appropriately here. Like we've got a range. We're still doing this thing. This feels wrong to me. So I had to set vertex buffer instance buffer slice. I've got instances here. Oh, is that right? Draw mesh instanced. Draw mesh instance. Hmm. Anyway, not sure if that buffer should be in. Yeah, I don't know. I think that might be right. I, I need to spend more time understanding this. All right, so let's let's keep going. Rendering the entire model. Okay, this is useful if we want to draw a mesh with a different material. Sure. We're also not rendering other parts of the model if we had some. Let's create a method for draw model that will draw all the parts of the model with the respective materials. Ah, yes. I think is that be um, a method for draw model. So what have we got? Mm. So when we implement draw model, um, they want draw okay function draw model. Mutable reference to self um, model camera bind group um, self draw model instanced model and camera bind group apparently. That doesn't look right. Need to add that in there, that's fine. Function draw model. Um, model. Camera bind group. Okay, so we've got this new thing here draw model instanced. No method may called draw model instanced. <clears throat> hmm. This is where we just ch we just cheat. <laughs> What? That's not what I want. I want to copy. <sighs> copy. Okay. So draw model instanced loops through all the meshes and it finds the material and it draws the mesh instanced with the material. And then in lib, we do set vertex buffer one instance buffer slice, um, set pipeline, which is up here. Um, let's just kind of bring it back to what they've got here. Um, so flip texture doesn't work anymore. Set pipeline. So 
So we've got but vertex buffer pipeline and draw model. Model instance. This doesn't feel right. Hang on a sec. Okay, so what are we doing? We're doing render pass. Draw model instanced self object model. Um, it's a range, so zero to self instances length, and then self camera bind group. Do I need to do as U32? Yes. As U32. Hmm, material doesn't get used. Draw model instanced. Draw model instances goes and gets the material. Hmm, let's see. Um, part of me wants to have a go at getting, so that works, um, part of me wants to have a go at getting a different object rendered, this earth object. The earth object is interesting, it has six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different materials. It doesn't specify any textures in, in here though, um, I don't think, like if you look at, look at the cube, oh no, not cube obj. Um, what am I doing? I want cube material and earth material. So if you look at cube material, it's, um, so material count eight, material count one. I still don't know how this format works, but you've got, um, bump map down here and cube map, oh, sorry, bump and KD, I guess KD stands for Something diffusion, diffuse. Anyway, this is the texture. We don't have anything like that here. There are no textures specified. So it's almost like you needed a fault texture, maybe. Or, I don't know. Don't know how this works. We can just render it without a texture. So maybe that's what we can try next. Is just getting that going with a different model. To test it out, because I'm pretty sure that'll bug out. So we've got cargo run. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right, that works. And then if I go back to cube object, and I change it to earth. This is should. I I doubt very much if this will work because there's no texture information and I'm making assumptions about whether textures exist uh, resources 63 99 yeah so there's no texture here. Hmm. And the question is, um, what do you do if you don't have a texture? All right, so I won't do that now. Uh, Earth, cube, okay, make sure we still run. And we do, surely. Yep, 
we run. It's great. Okay, so git status. Um, now render all model. No. So. All meshes and associated materials in a model. Um, cool, so that works. Um, so we're done with this beginner bit. Wow, okay. Um, been working on this for a few weeks actually. That's kind of cool. Cool that we're sort of at the end of that beginner bit. Um, I will go through and just sort of read this model loading code a bit and understand it a bit better. Um, Cause I'm, I've done a bit of copying and pasting here and I'm not particularly happy about that. Um, And then there was those util type functions in here. Um, like this stuff. I wanted to understand this better. Like load model. I think I, I should start here and read this. Kind of step through it all, make sure I really understand all of this. Um, Load obj buff async. Result of vec, mat well, vec material. Hmm. And then materials, meshes. Yeah, I need to understand this a bit better. Um, but that's cool. All right, so then what would we do next? We would go to the intermediate section, apparently, and we'd look at light. So while we can tell our scene is 3D because the camera feels flat, um, certainly does, doesn't it? Very flat. Very flat. Not ray tracing. Take the ray tracing tutorial if you want to learn more. Right, that's helpful. So there's no ray tracing tutorial yet, but I wonder if there is in the GitHub. GitHub.com um, learn WGPU. intermediate hmm. terrain cool oh yeah so this, this he's contributed that three months ago That's pretty cool. All right, so I might look at that stuff. Actually, when did, let's look at, it's not contributing much. Wow, Ben Hansen. Ben Hansen, you're a legend. Thank you for your, uh, for your excellent tutorials. Um, but anyway, so we'll do the Blin Fong model. I think I've heard of Fong lighting before. We'll, we'll look at all of this stuff. 
and then we need to create a new light, light uniform, which means we need to update shaders, I guess. Um, where's the shader goodness? Here we go. Ooh, separate layout. Separate pipeline. Um, and then you do something in here. So I guess the fragment shader needs to do something. Trickle draw light. <clears throat> so you got to. So light is has a position and a color. Interesting. Ambient. Okay, yeah, cool. Whoop, we're done on time. Here we go. So this is the sort of stuff I would think we need. So you'd need some way of computing um, like an inverse square law or something so that as light travels further away from the source it drops off in terms of intensity um, I don't know I, I have no idea how this would work but anyway we'll, um, we'll look at that because that's the sort of thing you want do you have anything like inverse square? Inverse square. No. Anyway, so we'll do light apparently. Then we'll do normal mapping, which I think changes the way that is that changes the way light looks on a texture, or it adds depth to a texture or something. Or is that bump mapping? That's bump mapping. Anyway, what's what's a normal map? Okay, cool. And then um, a better camera, apparently. Wow. So there's, there's quite a bit to do in here, but it'll be fun to get going on light, won't it? Um, that's the plan, folks. So we've done half an hour. This was a much shorter video, which was the plan. And uh, um, we've, we're done with, with the beginner section of the Learn WGPU tutorial. Who would have thought? Uh, and then now we're into into some lighting. I'm sort of half tempted to try and do my little project now as well. Um, I wanted to do some point cloud, render some point clouds. So the question is, can you render point clouds with geometry, like, or just do you use simple quads as the points, or do you, like, what do you do? Um, or do you just do something with a shader? Um, that's going to be fun. Maybe I'll have a go at doing a compute shader now as well. But I'll, I'll continue on with the tutorial. This seems like a lot more to learn, like a ton, ton, ton more, more to learn. But it's been fun. Um, look, thanks thanks for following along. Uh, let me know if you prefer these shorter videos or you like the longer learning ones uh, where I just kind of hack around and try and fix stuff. And um, I'll be back soon, hopefully in the next couple of days. Um, it won't, will never be daily, but I'm going to try and do sort of two, three a week, uh, especially if they're shorter ones like this. Um, like, subscribe comment below and um, follow me along on GitHub and or YouTube. Thanks, folks.